we we saw that the power that is dissipated is is this right so so and and this is kind of also equal to i square r and that is also equal to to v square upon r okay now now what happens is this is is that suppose you intend to the, the, this has this has very very important important ramifications for the power transfer okay now what happens you actually you actually reduce power at the power station at some voltage right so 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 this is your generator that is producing power at some voltage and and if you transmit it at that voltage let us say so so we'll see what happens so so the total power that i have is equal to v into i okay if if you want to if you want to transmit this power power to somewhere okay so what happens if you are transmitting at voltage v then this line will take a current i correct if that is not the case it will not kind of kind of transmit, transmit that power right so so that is equal to vi is the power being transmitted now if you allow this current i to flow in in this conductor right so so it will lead to the power loss in conductor equal to i square r c right this is your loss in the conductor right pc is pc is is loss of power in the conductor right loss of power in conductor loss of power in conductor in conductor is is that right so the loss of power in the conductor is this right now now let us try to relate this current with the power transmitted and the voltage at which the power is being transmitted so so i get from here i is equal to p upon v right now if i if i substitute this here if i substitute this here so 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 if i substitute that there so it is p square upon v square into rc right so loss in the conductor is equal to the power that you intend to transmit into rc upon v square now this is this is this is this is and and innocent looking equation that has got huge 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 importance and the importance is this this thing is fixed correct this p is fixed this rc is fixed because because it is fixed by the dimension and length of the of the conductor that you are using so the loss in conductor is inversely proportional to to square of v correct is fixed by it is p is fixed because this is the power that you intend to transfer correct suppose you are feeding a particular city or maybe a region say say delhi ncr then what happens the amount of power that it requires that is fixed so so you you would like to transmit that amount of power so that is p right so that is fixed rc is fixed so so it depends actually on the transmitting voltage so if you are transmitting at some voltage and your loss is pc if you double the voltage the loss becomes 1/4 correct you make it 10 times the loss becomes 100 understand so what will you prefer you will prefer to therefore 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 power transmissions are therefore power transmissions are done at high voltages power transmissions trans missions are done at 
are done at very high voltages at very high voltages PC is the power lost in conductor. P where, 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 where PC is the power lost in conductor. That we call PC. Correct? Understand? So for a given amount of power, this is the power loss in the conductor and that, that goes waste, right? That goes waste. So, so it is irretrievable. Okay? So that's why EHV, okay, EHV extra high voltage transmissions are in vogue and and we we'd like to increase increase uh, our are in vogue and we we like to increase that that voltage now we have been able to increase it up to 1200 kilovolts okay so that is 1.2 million volts okay and this we we tend to do by dc so you first of all convert everything into a dc then you raise the volt you raise the voltage and you know, kind of then transmit it and then at that end you revert it back into an ac and, and it, it requires a huge amount of power electronics how come we do ac hvdc HV, HV has got its own advantages so power electronics has come up as a big, big, big branch where, where you are handling, say, say, tens of thousands of amperes of current and, and a huge chunk of power, right? So, uh, so, so, and the cost of the increased cost of this equipment at both the ends. So, so the increased cost is that is paid in by in in about five to six years, and, and that's fair enough, right? So, so, so what happens? That's why whatever is the voltage at which this is being generated, you actually you actually increase it, okay? And and at this end, you decrease the voltage, you reduce the voltage. This actually represents a transformer, which 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 is which kind of increases and decreases the current and we'll soon be studying this so this is a step up transformer transformer so this does what this actually raises the voltage and and in this end say, say, say if you are kind of transmitting at if you're transmitting at say say so if you are transmitting at, at some voltage, then, then what happens? If, if you are, say, transmitting at 230 kilovolts, then obviously the equipments of the, of the household, they are not made for 230 kV, right? So they are, they are meant to be 220 volts. So, so, so they have to be finally converted into 220 volt, but not directly. You bring it to a substation, there you step it down to say 11 kV and give it to, to, to the industries and and then to 440 volts, okay? So then, waste energy. then to 440 volt, yeah? The stepping, down also waste energy. stepping up and stepping down wastes energy, but we have transformers which operate in the range of the efficiency of about 99, 99.5%. Indeed, there is a low loss in, in transformer, yeah? So 440 volt, that comes to your, your street and in your street, there is another transformer which converts it into 220 volt, and and then then through cables or or overhead lines you get the power, right? So what is the difference between a transformer and a battery? A transformer and a battery. Battery is essentially a DC. Transformer is actually stepping up or stepping down, a uh, an AC. Secondly, battery is a source of power. Transformer is not a source of power. It only steps up or steps down. So 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 it is a passive device. It is not capable of of, of generating power. It, it's not generate power. You give power to it, it will raise the voltage and hence it will raise the voltage and hence will reduce the current. Or if it reduces the voltage, it will increase the current. So that V into I is a constant. What is stepping up? Step up is increasing the voltage. Okay, step up transformer. That is increasing the voltage step this is this is a step down transformer 
this is a step down transformer this is a step down transformer okay this this reduces the voltage at the other end right and sir electricity is transported in ac that's because in the form of ac one of the reasons is because ac can travel long distance no not 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 it is because these transformers are pretty rugged and very efficient and very easy to handle that's why but that's why i am saying now now that hv dc has come into vogue with the advent of power electronics where we are able to do the same thing with with dc, DC. And, and there are so many things due to which the dc has an advantage okay so that's why we huh like shock, shock, shock is shock is not both parameter because, because no one is going to touch that line right mm -hmm. so so that is not a parameter what we want to do is to reduce this this so and there are many attendant no it depends actually on the current that you are transporting but within ac there are so many other things that come into play the the capacitance between two power lines they come into play and it it has a very chaotic sort of thing there there is an incremental capacitance as you move so the so when the line is loaded it's fine but the moment the line is unloaded suddenly at the other end the voltage goes up so you have to regulate that somehow it, it's a complicated pretty complicated business so that's so much so that power system is is one full two three semester course so how right about some transformers class right yeah how come some transformers blast transformers blast because there might be a short circuit there and the gases that are generated okay the gases that are generated actually it's a sealed kind of thing yeah. so they actually lead to that explosion but then there are pretty uh, so many safety devices before the transformer bursts and only when you ignore some of them then only the real blast okay and so the inverter is like a capacitor or a no 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 inverter is no no inverter is uh, a, 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 a capacitor has the charges stored on itself right inverter has the the energy stored in the in the battery it takes that it inverts it converter is when you convert ac to dc it is called a converter ac to dc it is normally converter this is the technical term when it is dc to ac it is inverter so it takes a dc voltage and converts it into an ac okay when we say that hum to the ha ha yeah light chali gayi to hmm. inverter pe chal raha hai hmm. so uh, that is because direct current no the the energy that you stored in the battery that is now being taken a dc is being taken it's being inverted it's 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 kind of being converted into an ac boosted okay by by dc choppers and then it's being charged so it has a battery in it yeah it has yeah that is the power source and, and then it will convert it yeah, into that, ac so that it doesn't affect us the same yeah. amount of yeah and since it does not have moving parts so it is kind of better to maintain no noise and right so it's preferred correct but somehow we are the country we who are not able to ensure the power supply otherwise when if you go to go to foreign foreign countries no one keeps an inverter and stabilizers and these actually reflect the inefficiency stabilizers to 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 stabilize the voltage right all these acs they have a they have a stabilizer they, they 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 should not be required why should you need a stabilizer right so so it is to to check the voltage fluctuation there if you there there are parameters maybe if you if you change it by more than 2% you the the power company has to pay the fine and if these equipments they get damaged due to their over voltage or low voltage then they have to compensate you for that apart from giving you money for 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 disturbing your peace of mind okay so things are pretty stringent out there okay power it's not being more expensive all that no power is not that expensive here you are paying about 10 rupee per unit that is hellish kind of power that you power power tariff that you are paying okay 